welcome to Lady Boss Mamas. I'm Molly Chanson, and I have a business and clothing line called Soul Ma, and two boys, Bennett is eight, almost nine, and Andrew is seven. I'm Laura Katanen. I am Molly's co-host uh, for Lady Boss Mamas, and I am a lifestyle blogger, but also I am a branding and marketing consultant, and I focus on the senses, and um, with me today, oh, and I have one little boy, and he is almost 22 months. And with me today is Tara. Hi there, I'm Tara Tidy, and I am the owner of Glamifornia and the Glamifornia Style Lounge at Boho Boutique in Malibu. And I also am the owner of Mad Flowers Essential Body Oils. And I am the proud mother of two children. My children are my daughter's 25 and my son is 22. And it's and their names are Scarlett and Jones. Now I had the pleasure of actually going into Tara's uh, salon in Malibu and I got pampered really. I, I got a, an oil treatment to make my hair softer and actually she cut my hair and she kind of made it a little bit more like layered around yeah. my face. Gave her a nice refresh. We can gave her a scalp treatment, we gave her a hair treatment. Mm -hmm. um, Little, a little wine, a little cup of tea. Yes, I forgot about the, no, yeah. champagne. Oh, champagne. champagne. Oh, champagne. champagne. And homemade coffee yes. that they blend themselves. So my point is, is that what Tara is doing with Glamophoria is creating a really like sensorial experience where you oh, sure. and you are sort of taken away to an oasis and you're not feeling rushed through your, through your, through your treatments, through whatever beauty you are getting. But she's also made it a creative space. So tell us, what is your, what has been your vision and, and intention with Glamifornia? Well, my intention for Glamifornia is to capture California glamour and to capture it through beauty and wellness that merges with art and fashion. And I found a very unique, iconic space in Malibu. It's the original Malibu Courthouse. And I made sure that I was true to what Malibu is. And, and my intention was to make sure that everybody who came in had a great experience and got the best style. I actually call my the, the, the space Glamifornia Style Lounge because it's what your style is. It's boho, if it's conservative, if it's chic, if it's hippy dippy, whatever it is, it's your style. But while you're getting that services, you feel comfortable in the lounge like you're in your own. And um, we make sure that, you know, Mad Flowers is my love, is, is a very sensual um, product. And, and the intention for that is to make sure where we are in the world that we still take the time to touch ourselves. And it sounds, you know, it sounds crazy, but we're so fast paced. I mean, look, I love the digital world and what it can do for us and the internet. And I'm talking to you in Chicago, but I feel like you're right, yeah. you're right there in front of me. Um, but at the same time, we have to still remember to take time for ourselves and to touch our skin. Our skin is the largest organ on our body, and we need to. See, and it's made of oil and water. So my products are oils for different target areas of the body. Each product, like the the the, uh, the lip potion, you know, is in a container where you use your finger. And okay, most lip products you don't use your fingers. They're in a tube, they're on, you know, they're in a stick. And we do need the color for some, for lip products. But by using your finger, you actually feel how much product you need. And then you can feel, oh, did I, do I need more for my lips? You know, the face do. It's, it's in a pump. And then I, I encourage you to tap your face because it has honey in it. And the honey helps to exfoliate. It's a natural enzyme. The body bronzer, is henna in oil, and this is for like your legs or the larger part of your body, so you use longer strokes, okay? Because the Hawaii Hakui nut oil dries Ooh, quickly. And, and tell anyone, because some of our Lady Boss um, audience might be pregnant, and these are all safe for, for pregnancy. Uh, th yes, and they're, okay, they're, they're great for your breasts, your hormones, your bodies. It's just, it's a, it's a uh, proprietary blend of essential oils, and then in a base of, of oil, you know. Yeah. So they're, um, you know, they're, they're as natural and organic as you can get legally. And in the they world. can buy this on your website. Yes. Glamour Glamour Flowers. Flowers. Yeah, yeah. They buy or, it. I, they um, can buy it on my California website or, or also my MadFlowers.net website. Mm -hmm. 
when you have so in your space where you are creating an experience for your customers you also are very intentional about the experience for the people providing the services yes i'm i am a hairstylist that is my craft and it's been i've had the most successful career with it and i'm really just taking everything in my career that i've done and packaging and putting into templates so that other artists can have have that kind of experience because i believe if you if you love what you do then you do what you love and then that's when the client gets the best experience and yes. and, then, and the real nature of the business is what happens between us you know the the, the the space around is extremely important but it's also what happens with us and so if the artist really loves where they're at and they feel good and they feel treated yeah. then they are really happy to give a hundred percent to the client and let the client really feel that then the client feels it back and then that's synergy is what makes it happen and i think a lot of times in today's world as fast as we're growing the artist is not it's 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 a down on the lower level and they're struggling yeah. and that's if they're struggling to find their space and then they just become a an artist and, and that's fine they but they may be isolated all by themselves and if you're isolated you're not connected to something bigger than just yourself it, you go flat Your inspiration isn't there yeah you've been at this for a long time but at what point did your vision change did your intention change and do you remember what you were doing how it came about like when this sort of idea yeah well, you know what it's true truthfully i i thought life really was going to be a little bit diff different for me at this point in time okay i thought oh i thought i'd be kind of retiring at this point i thought i would have opened up a place you know 15 years ago and i'd be traveling and traveling around the world and and when i realized that wasn't going to be the case i sort of went what am I going to do? Like, what, what, what am I going to do? Where am I going to take this? And, you know, I live in Malibu and, and I look at the ocean every day and I get this very vast, you know, the ocean's big, it's, it's wide and it's vast. And I, I kind of, it's really weird. As much as I was looking out, I forced me to look in and, and, and it said, I found out everything's inside of me. Just be who I am. Just be what you are. Do what you see. Do what you say. That's concept. That's brand. I have experience. I have success. I've raised two great kids, you know, and, and I'm like, no, just go out now and share your message and share, share your story. And that's, you know, how I just said, okay, I have to do that. And then I was on holiday with my daughter and we were sitting on the beach and I was getting ready to go to Italy and launch this message. And I said, what am I going to call this? You know, what am I going to call this? And I was, you know, feeling to her and talking about beauty and our wellness and how I see things. And truth, truth be known, she came up with the name Glamifornia. And I went, that's it. I like um, the intention of, and I feel like this happened, this has been happening for me. Um, that you go through all these um, life stages, really. And then, you know, then one day to have that realization, like, I'm just gonna be myself. That's all I have to do. It's like, it was so simple. It was just, I'm just gonna be myself and I'm gonna spread, you know, my gift and my message. And um, that's the most powerful thing. And then the excitement, like you talked about, how is this going to happen? I have this goal. Let's wait and see what comes in and how this is going to happen. And I'm excited to see how it's going to happen. Yeah. So my, my question then would be, because my, the audience, I'm thinking really strongly about, you know, all these women out there right now who are in a different space. Um, I can probably relate, you know, I'm young baby. We have startups. We are hustling. You know, and sometimes it's hard for you to, to let go. You're like, sometimes you're like wondering, is it gonna work out? You know, so for anyone out there, or maybe they have an, a vision or a dream and they're just too afraid, like it seems daunting to get started. So now that you are at this other phase and you sort of see, you know, the history of what you've done, 
what are like two things you would say to these women, like advice or tips, you know? Oh, well, you know, the first, it's, you know, I, I have a young daughter too. And, and, and there's, there's, there's times I want to tell her everything what to do because I, I know, you know, and then there's another part that she knows so much as well. And, and there's certain things, doesn't matter what I tell her, she can't get there until she experiences what she has to experience in life. She has to experience it. And, 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 and just this, I'm gonna share this as a, you know, as a mother, when you're a mother with children, your life has become very scheduled for like 10 to 15 years. It's very scheduled. Totally. And it, it has to be that you, you gotta change diapers and get food and, and, and you have somewhat have to be planned in this, especially where we live in a metropolitan city, you have to have some planning or it can get really chaotic. And, and then that's not healthy, healthy living. So you need a lot of planning. And then when your children leave, where my children are now out on their own and young adults, it, it took me a while to get into this where I didn't have to schedule and have to plan. And it was a really difficult time for me. I didn't know, I didn't know how to do that. But I am now at that place that I don't have to plan every detail out. I know through my experience and my knowledge that I can make things happen and I don't have to plan it all out. And the message that I could share to everybody and even myself at my age now is believe in ourselves. I, I you know, believe in ourselves. I'm a, I'm a mature woman and sometimes I still doubt myself and don't have self-esteem. And I'm like, we're in the 21st century and I am wasting energy on this <laughs> wasted, this wasted emotion. Stop it. And as quickly as I can think it, I can now choose to change my mind. And I can set that intention. Mm -hmm. And I think as society, we're more mindful of that. Mm -hmm. And there is more sharing of, 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 of women, of mothers and women and people sharing this and that we can then make a difference of how we go through life. And, and I think mm -hmm. it's just, just be good to yourself and, and believe in yourself and love yourself. Love Our yourself. thoughts are so powerful. Yeah. And sometimes a new mom just really needs to believe in herself for that afternoon. Yes. Being a mom. You know, like I can, I can do this. I can take care of my baby or my child and, and do a good job. Yeah. yeah you, you often feel like you're never going to leave the couch. You're only going to be a supply of milk for the rest of your life, you know? Yeah. The case may be, but you're right. That afternoon can feel daunting. And, and the other, the other thing that I, I, I do my best to practice this is to love every moment of it. Love all the stages because they all are ble blessed and, and they all are part of the experiences of what leads you, uh, leads you to here, to where I'm at now, you know? And yeah. They're children and we're bringing them into the world and it is, I believe that it, and it is our responsibility to be good leaders to them. You know, every day I do practice waking up and, you know, try to, I immediately talk up, say something beautiful in my mind and then I do my, you know, my gratitude and then I, to setting what my intention is and it really becomes a habit and you can catch yourself and and I love the I love the wisdom that comes with the practice and the time yeah. and so I always um, look back on my time when my kids were babies it was the same time I started my business and everyone said why are you starting a business the same time you just had babies and but I really took my time because I knew there's going to be time for this business, but the kids are babies during this small time. And I think as a new mom and a new entrepreneur, you feel like you're going to run out of time and you have to get this business going now, but really you have a lot of time. Yeah. I'm very impatient. I, you know, I dream big and I want it all now. And I know, but I am, I am practicing to know that it, it, it all, it will all unfold the way it's supposed to be. And, and also, we're, we all are living longer and healthier. And, and you know, I know I don't even look my age and, 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 and I have vibrancy of, of, you know, of what some people do at 20. But, and so, so, so that's also a key factor that's important for us all along the way to have healthy thoughts, to have, 
live healthy because we are living longer and we don't want to just live longer and be upset. <laughs> yeah, and be upset and stiff and can't do anything. We want to live longer mm -hmm. and be leaders to the to our next gener to our next ge generation. That's that's what you do. I have a really important question before we end, yeah. which is. When are you bringing Glamifornia to Chicago? I like to open my next one here in California so I can show all the, all the data and all the figures that are important so that then I can have the backing of a franchise company to take it nationwide or, or global. Okay, well, thank you everybody for watching. We do this weekly. We interview amazing Lady Boss women who are sharing their wisdom and knowledge and tips. And uh, we hope that you subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Tara.